when somebody first introduced us to the term crack baby, like we didn't understand it. It's not funny when it's actually real. It's real because we were. When somebody tells you, you know, you ain't gonna be nothing or you're gonna be on division or, you know, you're, you're a crack baby and then you go look online at the statistics of a girl who is fatherless, who's in a foster care system, who's this, who's that. Like, we have a 3% success rate. My father is Vietnamese, um, and my father, he passed away. I wasn't even a year old yet. It was just my mom and I, she raised me on her own. She had a disease that was called muscular dystrophy and was in a wheelchair. When I was at home, I had a lot of responsibility. I had to take care of a lot of things that young people wouldn't generally like, have to do. I struggle in even trying to think of events and stuff in my life prior to 12 or 13. It was around those times that I started drinking, started using drugs with neighbor kids, and looking back, I guess I can see like a personality change. But I had uh, stolen my dad's gun, and uh, he was a cop, and I made comments of threatening to kill myself, but. Um, I just couldn't find any bullets to do it. I think my dad started to lose patience and he drank a lot. As I was sitting watching TV, he came downstairs with all of his stuff and looked me in the eye and said he was leaving. He didn't give me a hug or nothing. He just, I'm leaving. We didn't have to be fearful. We didn't have to worry about getting screamed and yelled at or beat or have stuff thrown at you or cussed out or just being torn down emotionally and physically. And these people were here 24 hours, so if you needed something, they were there, you know. My mom, she actually has passed away. Um, she passed away when I was 17. I just know that how much she wanted to be able to do those things with me and she couldn't, so I know that my mom, it really gave my mom a lot of peace to know that there was somebody that's gonna come pick me up and take me ice skating or take me to the park or go run around with me, you know? I mean, St. John's, they were for me, I mean, they were what I never had. I mean, they were my parent in a way. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were my dad, they were my older brother, they were my mentors, they were all the things that you need growing up that I wasn't getting. Me and Tab have been through a storm. It was definitely tough, but she was always there no matter what. No matter how bad it was, no matter how worse things got, she had my back. And just to know that there were people who believed in us, there were people who pushed us, there were people who said, you know, one day this will be over and you guys are going to grow up to be very strong women. All people need help, but I just want to serve people where people need to be served. I want my words to encourage the hopeless, to let people know you don't have to turn out broken even though you're surrounded by brokenness. I feel like my life is so different because of the people that have reached out to me, especially Kathy, and have cared to like listen and be there. That really drives me because I know that I'm not the person that I would be had it not been for her. Kathy definitely played a role in my desire to reach out to others and it's 
in my blood. <laughs> They were such a big part in changing who I am and giving me the love and support and all the stuff that I needed at that time. One of them had mentioned to me about the scholarship program that they have. So I took advantage of that. I ended up graduating and uh, I spent eight years there working with the kids there over on Knapp Street. And I think that the kids enjoyed speaking to someone who's walked a little bit in their shoes. Thank you so much for just loving on us and just believing in us when we had nothing to believe in and just being here. You guys are a part of who we are today. You have really just touched my life in so many ways and I couldn't thank you more for, for signing up to be a, a big sister. I just thank you for uh, everything that you've done, um, for making me who I am today.